it's an invaluable skill and lots of people struggle with public speaking so um, and connecting with clients like that you're the expert and you're matching and recommending the right product and if they want to take it they can take it or leave it it depends like you've made a good match you've made a good suggestion you've made good advice you know your stuff so it's that subtle really underrated confidence on and then the feet underneath the water in the pond are paddling really fast that's a therapist like hello hi guys so today is another car video <laughs> out and about with the kids so this video wow the little ones asleep we'll do real quickly um so i have had training in public speaking before i've done courses like and read lots of books and then just practice and actually being on youtube has really helped like it's just really made me more focused how to speak and how to speak to clients and they always say like if you're a therapist that you know they always associate beauty therapists estheticians massage therapists and stuff like uh, with that bubbly chatty personality um, but sometimes like that doesn't come natural like for me I was more reserved more quiet and stuff so this video is if you are like myself you were um, that's what's holding you back actually with the sales so by the end of this video I want to give you confidence and practical steps on how to speak in public if you have to give like sales presentations if you have to talk to the clients you're talking to the public if you're working in a busy international spa like how to relate and talk to people um so my first tip is um it'll only get better with actual practice and experience and exposure so i think a lot of people are lacking in like actually having a retail job so i worked in a jewelry shop before and it just forces you to um it forces you to talk to the public like you have to serve customers you have to know all about the jewelry stock and like um it just really makes you think on your feet it's a different type of skill to like um planning a video you can sit and talk and do a script if you want um but you have to relate so i would recommend if you want to increase your sales and you want to connect with customers is to actually work in retail even like a summer job or get out there and do it alongside your spa or you you could be doing it with the spa work at reception for a while just to gain work experience don't think i'm a therapist i'm only this like stand and do a work shadow or work experience at a actual reception um i've had like phone training as well it's like you just have to force yourself it's really uncomfortable especially if you're shy but you just have to force yourself and it only gets better with practice my next tip is the mindset behind like public speaking like just being aware that public speaking or talking to customers and um, connecting with them like it's one of the biggest fears in the world like some people if you like search public speaking it actually is a big big fear more than um like i don't know like actual phobias like it is an actual fear so realizing how common it is and that it is like this uncomfortable transition and it's not completely natural to everybody um and just realizing that <laughs> the other person's probably just as shy as you are so never to assume um just because somebody sounds confident or can project their voice uh, like that is it's not always um like just realize that it is an actual like social anxiety is wanting that approval from other people so i was watching a youtube video about uh with da um aaron doherty <laughs> So good he's a brilliant youtuber i'll try link something below um and he said uh, it was like a light bulb moment he said anxiety is like people pleasing you care so much and you're putting the other person on a pedestal you don't realize they probably have anxiety as well or they're probably like 
uh, just as uncomfortable that it's just a common thing like we're all human we're all going through the human experience as well so these are just natural reactions and it's like why do you care so much about that person like focus on your own goals it's easier to focus on somebody else than like sometimes sitting with your own goals and that's where the anxiety is coming from you're you're craving like that they like you that they approve of you and that's not great with sales with sales it's like no you're the expert and you're matching and recommending the right product and if they want to take it they can take it or leave it it depends like you've made a good match you've made a good suggestion you've made good advice you know your stuff so it's that subtle really underrated confidence that real like calm cool collective collective so my next tip if you're still with me stay till the end i have a really good one at the end as well so my next tip is to actually talk slower consciously slow down your tone um and like see how i'm doing these filler words and um, like the <laughs> you notice that when you start talking on camera a lot more but you do them with clients as well so if you slow down all those m and what are for you to like organize your thoughts uh, <laughs> and they happen subconsciously and they happen naturally but uh, you just <laughs> there we go again uh, like it's good it's really hard to stop yourself i have to edit them out sometimes so if you slow down in a spa people are coming they're relaxed the customers are relaxed ideally and you want to get them into the treatment room but you're the therapist you tend to be you know back to back and you tend to be you're the professional and you're they always described it as the swan and then the feet underneath the water in the pond are paddling really fast that's a therapist like on the outside it's all graceful and calm um, and underneath it's like their feet are going like crazy Woo -hoo. so you will be a better speaker and you're a better communicator if you actually consciously slow down like have something like in your hand even if you have to give a presentation hold a pen hold your glasses like this in your hand it'll stop any kind of subconscious like uh, fiddling or do you know hold something it focuses your mind a pen glasses the clipboard the plan consultation form and talk slower really empathize your words really slow down <laughs> and after a bit of practice you become really aware and you just notice your tone and your pitch i remember doing massage class and do you know that christmas song silent night and the rhythm of silent night that's how slow she said to do like an effleurage move like that sometimes we don't notice as therapists how quick we're doing everything if you're going from a, a nail treatment to like um, a body massage treatment or a facial treatment that to slow everything down slow and concentrated so silent night holy night you see when you sing that like how long that takes um is the calmness that you want to bring because then the move everything is more focused you don't need 20 advanced massage techniques you need two or three that you do um, intentionally and slowly think of yoga and mindfulness like what is yoga like that pose like the asanas are like the set they're always the same you don't yes you do have variations and you can put there there is hundreds of variations but at the core there's not that many it's all slow concentrated and intentional so what you could do a whole yoga class with five actual postures because of how slow and the breath work with so back to the public speaking so like that i mentioned hold something in your hands speak slower um be careful of your filler words <laughs> What else did we say? Um, get actual training in public speaking. Being aware of where anxiety comes from. It's that fear of rejection, that fear of like 
you want their approval like why are you putting these other people on the pedestal you're the professional you're trained you're doing the service you're providing them with a good service so i think it's also confidence in your ability so practice more now my next tip is get a script and then make it your own like get a script as an example uh, copy what other therapists uh, say and think so have like another therapist who's your mentor or a manager who's training you and actually write down what they say say how they greet the client and then kind of use words that you would naturally use that don't you don't want to copy them exactly because it'll sound unnatural but you want an example you really want an example you really want to it's so much easier when there's a script and you know there's an actual routine so build a routine around your sales i won't call it sales pitch but your sales approach so i'm all about ethical sales and only recommending products that people need and that it's an extension of the treatment uh, the clients need this anyway you're giving half a service if you don't recommend products for them to carry out the results and continue the results at home and um, they're only getting like oh an hour uh, day package experience and then what home with nothing like you want to carry on the results you spend so much time asking them and active listening using open-ended questions on how to um like what their concern is finding out their concern their issue why they're there in the spa today even relaxation is a concern oh i'm just here to relax yeah but there's more underneath that like that stress is showing up on your skin that's stress. like not to point out problems i like the more positive approach and um, like how would you like this to look like what's your overall goal and um, how would you like to feel in the future and what can we do to get you there and what treatments will help and what products will help so yeah um <laughs> So yeah, that's a really good one as well to have scripts that you script as in like examples of what to say and then make them your own. A bit of sunshine today. Um, baby's been baby's been active. Um, no. What else? So public speaking, yeah it's uh, like i said practice get a script have something hold something in your hand uh, to avoid those nerves change your mindset about where that anxiety is coming from you're talking about your treatments and you're doing your job so why would you be nervous connecting with a client and then practice retail get a job in retail really great you'll get a job at reception learn how to talk on the phones and it only gets better with actual practice or video to youtube as well a lot of estheticians are doing youtube because it's an exciting job it's cool to see um or massage therapists as well um public speaking so what else builds confidence is um so what else builds confidence is making it about the client like treating them like they're a friend of a friend they're your auntie's friend or a relative or something that relating to that person they're only a person don't put them on a pedestal don't be intimidated just because like you're so afraid of a, a complaint that you're like over giving and people pleasing them um no it's like grounding yourself yeah things like meditation really good as well like being really grounded really like just calm neutral energy um, what else public speaking public speaking public speaking yeah having a script and a, so public speaking or speaking to clients getting on board with your clients connecting with your clients and building rapport all about active listening so i mentioned slowing down but having intentional questions you only need about two or three clear questions what made you book in for this treatment today and um, how would you like your skin to look on your special occasion and um, you know they're really open-ended questions and finding them their main concern and then matching products to it and then asking and closing for the sale 
um, would you like to take them home with you today? Uh, this would I recommend? And then they might come back, oh, well, what's the price on them? Um, you can give like a guideline, but it price is like they're talking about the value. So, well, I've recommended these three skincare products or these three body products. If anything, this will solve, pick this product and pick one for them that's like the mid-range one. This is the concentrated serum. This is the concentrated treatment. This is the aromatherapy oil. This is the bath salts with high levels of magnesium. That's gonna draw out toxins. This is what we talked about and bring it back to their main concern. And if they do ask the price, the, the insistent on the price, know some of them off by hand or bring a price list with you and um, just be really confident the price is the price if you don't see the value that's fine chanel doesn't change their price for anybody ferrari doesn't change their price for anybody it's the price is the price if you don't see the value shop somewhere else you're as a therapist making recommendations you have to be um yeah this is another great tip is believe in your products don't compromise yourself you're not going to be able to sell it. it's really going to show if you don't use the products if you don't believe in the products it won't be a natural progression the sale is a natural progression of the treatment it's a natural recommendation if you went to a cool restaurant how would you speak to your friends about it went to this great place like you have no attachment or desperation to it that's how sales are this is the correct product for your concern today this is the right choice um i've been trained in this i won't go into all the detail with the uh what's inside it has nice cinnamide acid it has hyaluronic acid this this no what's it going to do for you you don't need to mention all the details of what's in the product unless somebody's very particular and they want to know um, like they might have allergies and stuff so you have to take that all into concern and you have to really connect with them and talk to them so public speaking slow down hold something in your hand have a script um, take them off the pedestal take that person and um, realize that you're the professional and realize that sales are natural take it or leave it kind of attitude in a subtle internal way that nice calm confidence um, it's a natural progression to sell you're doing like check out some of my videos I have about mindset for selling you really need to switch that um, mindset onto ethical like you're not doing anything wrong we have this association I think we're nervous because it's like fear of rejection or fear like you want that person the client to like you and not complain but they ironically will respect you more if it's like they, you gave them a good service and how do you give a good service sales are involved so you need to switch your mindset about why sales are an important role in the treatment plan and how to get them results you're not going to get them just with the treatment alone you get some results but you want to give the person the full package internally and externally you can put all the creams you want on your skin uh, you can go to all the gym sessions you want but you can't do it without the combination of the diet it's just not the way the body works the body works holistically as in it's a whole overall approach so you might need to recommend vitamins and supplements lifestyle changes home care advice and then products and a sandwiched approach i always talk about the sandwich approach so i hope these tips were really helpful for the public speaking i always liked doing the scripts and having an example of what to say and practice so retail and um, yeah let me know how you get on let me know what you guys hold in your hand when you're talking because that stops any jitters or nerves especially if you have to get up in front of a crowd and like talk to um talk to more than like a group of people and those nerves kick in like oh my god you can't help it it's subconscious it's because um our survival instinct is to be liked if you want to be part of the tribe that's how you used to survive we have to realize that's an outdated that's just a physical response to standing up in front of a group of strangers who you don't know who you don't know what they're thinking 
it's that fear of like judgment um, but you have to realize you're the expert and you're not saying anything out in the ordinary people will just google this or look it up anyway you're saying you're actually helping them selling is helping you're recommending products so my bonus bonus tip um, is so yes one of my bonus tips was to actually practice at home and record yourself record yourself on your iphone and you'll notice all those filler words you use you'll notice how you come across when you're speaking are you making eye contact are you speaking slow is your tone your tone like friendly and curious and all that matters with sales it's a combination of everything and body language and uh, yeah film yourself that's a real bonus tip uh, play it back and just be neutral and study yourself and um, do it with a kind heart and do it with self-compassion you're there to improve yourself it's an invaluable skill and lots of people struggle with public speaking so um, and connecting with clients like that because it's not your you know you know your friends and you know kind of what reaction they're going to have so i think it's also that unknown aspect um, and not being sure like what people are thinking but you're the professional you have to remind yourself of that so check out some of my other videos i have all about the mindset about selling i have lots of shorts short videos as well if you prefer that kind of quick instant instant like information uh, let me know down in the comments below if this was helpful if it is that the confidence side of things is holding you back is it knowing exactly what to say i want to do like a checklist or i can give you guys scripts so write script down in the comments below the video you can comment um, i'm also offering sales consultations over dm so they're free i just want information and guidance of what areas you guys are struggling with if any so i can link my instagram down below and you just dm me then write to me let me know if you have a specific sales question you keep coming across this objection or tell me about your clinic setup tell me about your solo i'm a solo esthetician and i'm like not sure how to sell or i'm always struggling to sell these products or maybe you just don't know what's possible sales wise how much more you could be doing and more you could be selling and how much more helpful that is like sales is just an amazing amazing skill um, it's going to help maximize your time it's going to prolong your career you're not going to have that burnout that physical emotional mental burnout from working with the public all day long working with new clients having to think of like the treatment and the clients and the product like your products will sell themselves if you have an online shop and um, if you make it like a shopping experience um, or loads of videos it's called like entering your sales era so like the sales environment how to set yourself up like a shop that it's just automatic people associate you with like the shopping experience people are going to be buying this stuff in pharmacies in the drugstore in like uh, the local even shop supermarket anyway so why would they not like you could be giving them all this advice during their skin treatment and then they're walking out getting like diluted versions of products that just look nice on the marketing and you know that the ingredients aren't top notch so you're doing yourself a disservice you're not getting the most out of your time i don't think therapists realize how much the possibility of what's out there to sell and that it's really a doorway just wrap your head around sales it's not sleazy why do we have this association with sleazy we're like it's we're biased i think we've had bad sales people sell to us and they've had bad sales skills so we have this yucky association ourselves as therapists so you need to rewire all that reprogram all that so check out my mindset videos i'll link more down below in the description box of the video you click more and it gives you a whole list of that so read what's underneath the video as well please and if you found this helpful give me a thumbs up uh, then i know like make more content like this so yeah 
until our next video bye